I didn't see it. I can't believe it. Oh, what a feeling you sent to me. Mm -hmm. Oh, I didn't see it. I can't believe it. Oh, what a feeling you sent to me. Then I realize. Uh, good morning. Oh. Yep. I beg, who be that security man when they outside? I've already removed my. Where the dirty boy? What? What? Send what? Have you started? Yep. <laughs> then I realize I didn't see it. I can't believe it. Oh, what a feeling you sent to me. Good morning. Good morning. I don't write today's topic, but today's topic is about uh, spiritual guides. Spiritual guides. I'm preparing. I'll be busy throughout this week, so I'm not going to be coming live much this week because I'm going to be busy. I'm going to be so busy. Okay, so you have to pardon me, pardon me, pardon me, pardon me. Pardon me, pardon me, pardon me, oh, please pardon me. Try. Okay. I won't be talking about, I want to talk about spiritual God. So I'm live on TikTok, I'm live on Facebook at the same time, okay? Um, I'm going to be posting every of the live video I do on TikTok uh, and YouTube. Please, YouTube, pardon me. I'm yet to get a phone. If I get another phone, I'm going to be going live three, three live at once. Okay, so I'm so, so sorry that you're not able to join this live and ask me questions because I love the questions you guys ask me from YouTube. Okay. All right. How was your night? It's still morning. A wonderful morning to everybody watching me from wherever you're watching me. Okay. Here is morning. Here is just uh, 10.25 okay so i'm done with a little bit packing um i'll be going to the other side of lego states to for work so i'm going to be busy so if you're around you can join me at badagri beach on friday i'm going to be at the beach on friday all right so my name is okay um somebody said on tiktok much on the compound parlor and glare civil play Okay, si vous ne comprenez pas l'anglais, I am English, okay? I can't speak uh, I can't speak French, okay? I'm a Nigerian though I understand French a little bit. So, uh pardon moi. Oh, pardon moi. S'il vous plaît. Okay, though I speak French, I understand French. So, all my live videos are in uh in English. So, I'm so sorry. I am so sorry for not speaking uh, French my live videos okay so forgive me pardon me now thank you so much good morning good afternoon good evening my kings and my queens ghosts and goddesses uh, the watchers gatekeepers rainbow warriors skin workers old souls and dream weavers okay okay thank you so much for my french uh, Queens and Kings, um, I can't uh, do my live videos in uh, French language. I'm sorry, I'm Nigerian. All right. Now, I reside in Lagos State. I live in Lagos State. I work from Lagos State. Please. 
be careful a lot of people are using everybody a lot of people's name and pictures to be scamming they're doing that to me as well so you gotta be careful all right okay i am marine i am marine it simply means i am as a one i'm from the water okay we have four elements air earth fire water everybody has where you come from so most of my teachings are based on water but if you don't learn anything from me learn the dedication and the passion uh, with which i do my teachings worship my goddess and apply to are you a christian use the same dedication to worship your god please before you start uh, before you start uh, commenting nonsense don't forget that i'm not a christian mm -hmm. before you start commenting nonsense please especially those from t youtube uh, sorry those from tiktok before you start commenting give your life to christ please i'm not a christian i beg uh -huh. when i delight today a lot of people their hand they know they know how to type Brrr, they have typed and start telling me jesus is coming soon i never say jesus is not coming soon i beg i'm not a christian please some people their ear they select sound i don't go to church i'm not a christian now some of you also from facebook and uh, and some wonderful people who have started following me on youtube please i'm not into tradition and culture before you come and start talking nonsense if you are so intelligent that you know please that is why social media creates tiny room call the wall for everybody go there and teach your jesus christ go there and preach your tradition and culture go there and teach your trad um, native doctor stuff do not come this way what you're looking at here is Esther Hechi Marina on TikTok, Esther Hechi Marina, Facebook, Esther Hechi Marina, YouTube, Esther Hechi Marina. Your name is not there, okay? And don't also forget that the phone I'm using to do this live video, Nami get that, no be you. So please take your wisdom, knowledge, and understanding and go to your wall and start doing live video. Your phone there, click Facebook. When you go to Facebook, you will see life, you see a lot of things there. Please go there, eh, and start your crusade don't come here and be talking nonsense i beg uh -huh. anyways like i said my name is says one i hate you marina i am water i'm not earth i'm not air i'm not fire i am water for those of you who are always quickly to say pray for me how will you help me please this is me helping you you see, um, when you want to start live, they will be calling you. This is me helping you. Please. Please, my help me. How will I catch up? Don't stress me. I didn't promise you. What I'm teaching you is to help you. Refrain from always asking questions. Listing. Listing. What I'm saying might not make sense to you. Because it's not for you. My teachings will not make sense to some of you because... I didn't come to this world for some of you. If you don't understand what I'm saying, don't insult me, Biko. Please. I'm not insulting you. I'm teaching. Please. My name is Yoko. All right, today I want to talk about uh, spiritual guides. Last but not the least, those of you who will watch my video and go and start writing on your post, saying what I've said. You are insulting your spiritual guides. You are sports, you are insulting your 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 elements. There are a lot of wisdom, knowledge, and understanding inside of you. Stop taking my post and go and be posting on your own. It's not gonna help you. My name is Yoko. So today I want to talk about spiritual guides. Now, in the religion sector, they call it and uh, they call it a uh, guardian angel. When you want to lie, use English. If you use your native word, native language to lie, people will catch you. So, today I'm talking about my topic today. I didn't write it. My topic today is spiritual guides. In Igbo language, we call it Ndiotum. 
We call it Ndine Jelu Mozi. Okay? In English word, in Christianity word, it's called Guardian Angel. I don't know what you call it in your dialect. I don't know what you call it where you come from. But where I came from, here in Nigeria, a proud wafi bokachara akaja. We call it Ndiotsu. We call it Ndine Jelumozi. You know, a lot of people like to call them Ndiotsu. When you use that word Ndiotsu, you are creating a very big demarcation between you and them. You understand? But when you call it Ndine Jelumozi, you have come home. Okay? You have come home. You now understand that there is a relationship between you and them. There is a relationship between you and them. That they are not far from you. So it depends on your dialect. It depends on your religion. I'm not against anybody's religion, please. I'm not against that. Okay? Now, spiritual gods. Who are the spiritual gods? Now, there are the, the main issue I want to touch here is the spiritual guards that has to do sometimes with your family. A deceased relative can be your spiritual guide. There are spiritual guides you came with here on earth, but a deceased loved one can be, might be, your spiritual guides. I also want you to know that every one of us have spiritual guides. I'm going to be using that word, spiritual guides. I'm not a Christian. If I'm a Christian, I will say, guardian ninja. So I'm going to be using that word, spiritual guides. And once, once in Igbo, I'm going to be using that word, ndine jelumozi. You understand? Okay. Now, in every, every human being, it doesn't matter the kind of situation you are going through. It doesn't matter the kind of pain and shame and ridicule you are going through. It doesn't matter whatever it is that is going on in your life. You have a spiritual guide. Don't let anybody tell you otherwise. Don't let any man, any woman, any girl or boy tell you otherwise. Okay? Everybody have spiritual guides. Because we all are children of God. Spiritual guide is not for one particular person this person or that person no there is nobody who is greater than anybody it's just that some of us have decided to pursue things of the spirit you now come to us and said you go to your daddy in the lord and say daddy pray for me pastor pray for me prophetess pray for me it's because some of us have set us ourselves ourselves apart to understand things how it happened where it happened that is just it okay that you can say oh he is my godfather she is my godmother and this and that and my mentor no because this set of people we have set ourselves apart ourselves apart to gain wisdom knowledge and understanding to understand to try to understand the meaning of life so everybody everybody whether a newborn baby, the one in the tummy, has spiritual guides. Okay? Now, every city, every state, every country, every community, every society, every clan, every family has spiritual guides. Uh, because when you understand, when you begin to, you know, there's no how we as human beings can understand what life is all about. But at least let us try. Try to see if we can understand it with this human body. You got to go? Now, if you don't begin to understand the, the, that you have spiritual guards, you will make a mistake. A lot of people make mistakes by thinking that 
uh, be at peace with Ndi Otsugi. Be at peace with your spiritual guide means go and be cooking food for them. Cook rice and beans and pop off and granola to go to water, pour mineral and ice cream or there. That is what they understand by Gen and Dio Tsugi Be at peace with your spiritual guides. The only the only thing they understand is cook, boil rice, fanta and coke, sugar. No, 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 that is not just it. Okay? The same way a lot of people make mistake by thinking that spirit eats what human beings eat. Okay? That this life is beautiful, it's wonderful. It's just that a lot of us are, are missing it. A lot of us has lack that wisdom. And that wisdom we are lacking to make it in life is not as big as this. It's not as big as this. If we begin to, if we can have this size of wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, I think this world will be a better, wonderful, beautiful place. Because I always believe that nobody can tell you how to worship God. I believe that. Nobody will show me how to worship God. Simply because you don't do makeup to worship God doesn't mean I shouldn't do makeup. Also, if I do makeup, doesn't mean God is not hearing me. Simply because you cover yourself from your head to your toe, you worship God, doesn't mean I should cover myself head to toe to worship God. I don't like that. That is called mind control. Let us gather together to worship God. Come, let me teach you how to do this. Come, let me show you. Come, let me teach you. It's all mass mind control. Everybody should know how to worship God. That is my belief. That is what I know. Okay? Now, until you begin to understand that you have spiritual guides. I remember those days in the village. If you, are, if you want to go out, your left leg hit uh, the stone. You say, no, it's going to be a bad day. Let me not go out. You come back. One or two things will happen to you as you get ready to go out. You say, no, I'm not going to go out today. Something. My body is telling me to sit at home. My mind is telling me, some people, it got to a state that as the as technology is coming, a lot of people, some people I know, their phone will fall down on the ground and break. Something will happen. Or their child will suddenly develop one illness or the other. Something will tell them that something is wrong. Okay? There is something I used to say. I said, if you gather over 20,000 men or 50,000 men, women and women that are dead, you wake them up and ask them, how did you die? What happened on that day? They will simply tell you that when I wake up that day, my, my mind tell me not to go out. Something was telling me not to go out. You know, when you don't understand your spiritual guide, you will just say, something is telling me not to go this place, that, it will not go, that this interview will not work. Something is telling me, don't eat this food. It's not good for my body. It's because you don't begin to understand your spiritual guide. You call it something. Some people say, my mind in our wamoku. Obi musi magana. Obi musi meme ni fediota. Mwo musi magana. But we now, who has been able, in our own tiny way, to understand things of the spirit, we said, mdi otu musi mejena. Moses I shouldn't do this. Now, why the pastors, the Christendom, the, the religion will tell you, the Spirit of God asked me to tell you that you shouldn't take this step. The Spirit of God spoke to me last night about you. Did you see that? It's all one. Because they have been able to, some of us have been able to come out and try as much as possible to understand things without getting distracted. So why the religious we said the spirit of God said the word of God is telling me right now that somebody here you're gonna get it this day, you're gonna do this something something like this is gonna happen you're gonna go this way you're gonna go that way the spirit of God said don't take that step the spirit of God said they can do that but we who are spiritual we said ndio tsumse mejena ndina jelo mozi semo gwage mo na mado semo gwage so how is religion better than me how is it that they are better than I am? Simply because I didn't say the Holy Spirit said. And I said in the Otomo said. What is the difference there? And he, because he said, hey, my heart, my mind is telling me, my mind is telling me my husband is cheating on me. 
my spirit is my mind is telling me my wife is cheating on me your wife is cheating on you your husband is cheating on you ah something is telling me that my sales girl is stealing my money my man is telling me my my friend is sleeping with my husband it is not your mind that is telling you you are being told you are being told that that thing you were thinking is happening okay and that is why some of you when that thing eventually happens you say, ah my mind told me two years ago my mind told me ha ah, it happened so i don't understand why did you do something about it most times the people comes to me they said ah emma when i'm giving them consultation they say ah i was this thing this thing uh, three years ago they told me this and i said oh, oh. Oh, they told you three years ago. If you have paid attention three years ago, by now you would have become a multi billionaire. If I paid attention three years ago, by now you would have gone far. But because you didn't pay attention, you are looking for somebody who will verify and tell you that truly the Spirit of God is speaking to you. Now do that. Do you understand what I'm saying? Are you listening to me? Seriously, are you listening to me? God is speaking to everybody. There's no particular person that is singled out that hears voices. Each and every one of us hears voices. The issue is that what did you do with yours? What did I do with mine? You're not doing anything with, with yours. You're that in the Lord or you're as a one, you must confirm it. Oh, they say I'm from water. They said I have the call. They said, I have the gift of healing. They said. Oh, what did you do about it? You have gone to 50 million places. What did you do about it? Anyways, let me go back to my point. You know, I always like to talk. Now, your spiritual God has simply told you the truth. In the dream, as intuition. We call it being sensitive in the spirit. Being sensitive in the spirit has nothing to do with Christendom. Has nothing to do with uh, religion. No, it has nothing to do with that. Spirituality is not religion. Spirituality has nothing to do with the tradition and culture of being as a one. No. It is something bigger, something higher, something greater. Okay? I've seen a lot of people, they said, I have a call, but I don't know who will teach me. I don't understand. Teach you what? What will somebody teach you? Immediately you decide that you want somebody to teach you. You have derailed. You have gone off the track. The issue is start listening to your spiritual guide. And because you're not listening to them, they no longer speak to you. Some people say, I don't dream. I don't remember my dream. Ma, how do I remember my dream? Ma, how do I do this? Why are you asking me such irrelevant questions? You have been, a lot of you have been told how to do business and make money. How to go to the next level. How to move. But you choose not to hear it. Because you don't like that kind of word. The kind of word you want to be you want to hear is oh yeah, I see you going higher. I see you going greater. It's gonna be great with you. I see you, I see you, I see you, I see you, I saw you. That is what you like. Come, let me do it for you. Come, let me make you have money. Come, let me make you get, get money. Come, let me do that is what you want to hear. Which might not work for you. Because it is only your spiritual guide that knows the best course, that knows the best way. Because even eh, before you come to this world, you have discussed with them. You sat with them. You and, you and them know that this journey is not going to be easy. It's not going to be easy. So, you have discussed the best course. In case I'm forgotten, drag me back through poverty. If I'm so happy, I'm not remembering. Let my husband or wife cheat on me so that in pain I will remember. If I have so much money that I'm not remembering to do my work, making me poor, 
If I'm so poor that I'm hungry, I don't know what to do. Make me rich. You set the course of your life. Your spiritual guards are just there to remind you what you told them to remind you at every given time. Today, you have silent those voices. You see yourself swimming in the dream. I say, Pike, ah, you, every python spirit died, bad, die, consume, destroy. You, marine kingdom, I'm not interested. You, evil spirit, you, spiritual husband, Lazra, let me go now. I don't, what is wrong with you? What is your problem? What is the name of your problem? What is the name of your sickness? Hmm? What is the name? Kede afa nya oya nja nwa na aya ge. Kede afa oya ina aya. Kede afa your mental mental problem. Nya nya ishimbaka nwa na emegi kede afia. You are asking me how do you remember your dream? I don't know. A lot of you are so used to lying that when I don't lie to you you call me fake. Mane is yoku. In what way did I lie to you? How did I lie to you? You disobey your spiritual guards. You disobey everything around you. And you put your trust on a mere mortal man or woman. You still believe in them. But you don't believe in yourself and your spiritual guards. It is when you begin to understand your spiritual guards, you will not understand the spiritual guard of your family, of your clan, of your state, of your society, of your country. Before you think of traveling another man's land. And sometimes when I talk to when I talk to some people who when they were talking with me here, they called me fake. When they travel abroad, things are hard, they started chatting me again. They started calling me mommy. <laughs> Why are you calling me mommy? You know the name I call myself. I'm the king, man. Hey, mommy, oh. mommy, I know my cousin. I want on the landing pier, your motherfuckers. Can I never find a co? I'm not coyeri. Eh? Oh, you not cross here? Oh, we say it here. You can't travel to any land. We can't make any country without your passport. Your passport shows where you come from. The visa. Your passport must be stamped with a visa. Before you can enter any country. And that country you are going to. There are rules. Physical rules and regulations. Guiding that country. If you are from any part of the east. You travel down to the north. To we now that is in the west, or you travel to southeast or south north. There are rules and regulations guiding every state, every tongue, and every tribe. It, 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 it's disheartening when I saw men and women who see themselves in the dream as a mighty man, powerful rich men. And they keep groping in darkness, asking, how will I make it? How? Anywhere I go, they say I'm the greatest. Anywhere I go, I say I'm going to be rich. Anywhere I go, they say I'm the, I'm the one that will help my family. Anywhere I go, they say that. But my please, I don't understand. No, because you don't want to understand. No matter what me, we tell you every day, you never hear me. Whatever, what, whatever your pastor, your mom in the Lord, your dad in the Lord is telling you, you can never hear. Whatever any native doctor you have gone to have told you, any as a one, any priest you have to, gone to have told you, you will never believe it because simply because you have decided to block your two ears that you will never hear. Yes, man, is yoku. Despite me saying it always, I don't do any work for Yahoo person. They are still chatting me. Please, man, when will I cash out? Did you see? That's why my teaching. Some people will come and chat to me a messenger. Please, my help me. How do I start my work? It simply means they are not hearing me. My love, whatever you are doing on social media is very nice. Oh, my God will bless you for teaching us. Please, my help me. How will I start? Did you see that? I'm, I've been following you since 19... Since 19.045, I've been following you. 
I love what you are doing. My God will bless you for us. So, but my please, eh? My husband has been slapping me. What do I do? It simply means she didn't hear me. And trust me, I don't. My chatting have stopped with you. He didn't hear. It's not about commenting on my post. It's not about sharing. You didn't hear me. On a Sunday service, a powerful Sunday service, all the praise and worship and all the singing and praising, you heard it, Abby. In the after the service, you see, say, you want to rush and go and see daddy, your pastor. You see, collect a number to go and see pastor. It simply means that everything that happened on that Sunday service, that from morning to that time, you didn't hear it. So you want to go and see pastor to complain to him what happened. Which means throughout that service, you didn't hear anything that was spoken. The choir administration, you didn't hear it. The praise and worship, you don't hear them. The word, you didn't hear it. Announcement, you don't hear them. That is why you wait to go and see your, father, your, your pastor after the service. So, if you didn't hear your pastor, I mean, you won't hear. Your spiritual guards are the ones those entities who decided to follow you to this world who decided that we just want to follow you and you told them you gave them some of your power some of your intellect intelligence power to hold because it is it will not be enough it's it, it is so big for it to compact into your body into your body into your physical body it might destroy your mother as you are in her womb and as you keep growing, keep growing as in physical human growth, those things will be added to you. Those powers will be added to you little by little. Okay? Now, when you understand them, you will not understand if any bone on our son so. Your family, your foundation. You will begin to understand the foundation of your family. That you are the son of OKK does not mean you know who OKK is. That you are the son of Mazingere does not know that you know who Ungene is. Or the foundation. Or the father of the father of Ungene. And because you don't understand your spiritual God. You just say, hey, they say that. Please, man, I want to know who I reincarnated as. Who did I reincarnate as? They say, I'm my father's mother's brother became wife. You keep asking meaningless questions in the spirit. In the physical, your questions might look meaningful, but it's meaningless in the spiritual. It is it's not a question, it's not it's not even a conversation. You are just jumbling and mumbling and fumbling. That is what you are doing. And at the end of the day, you say pastors are liars, pastors are fake, and uh, the uh, online uh, native doctors are fake, marines are fake, everybody is fake. In fact, the whole world is fake, and you the only person we get sense if one and apart on a leaky. Do you understand what I'm saying? It is when you understand yeah, a man or a woman who understands his or herself is wise. It's wise. That person have, in fact, the word, he or she, understand the word. But today we have people who want to teach you about yourself. They don't know themselves. They want to teach you who they are. But they don't know who they are. I want to teach you who you are. Why? Because you drop money. They are doing that because that is the only language you understand. I'm sure somehow your pastor might have told you the truth. A lot of people like me have told you the truth. Because you don't want to hear the truth. So they decided to tell you the truth that you need to pay. And you are paying and you are happy. When you understand, then you understand the land where you live. You understand. I see a lot of people... They'll do videos about the city where they live and they start speaking their dialect and insulting those people. You are doing yourself. Every time you keep, you keep cursing the land where you live, saying negative words about the land you live, insulting the people in whose state you live. And you keep wondering why others are making it and you are not making it. You keep wondering why things are make, things are working for people and it's not working for you. You keep hopping from one place to the other, jumping from one place to the other, simply because you don't know yourself. 
Some of you feel that you are more superior to others. A lot of people feel they are more superior to others. They don't know nothing. A lot of you feel that you are more, a lot of ladies feel that they are more superior to ladies. So because simply because they are married, so the unmarried ones or the divorced ones are, you know, they are tainted, they are sinners. Okay. A lot of you feel that you are better than the other. I'm better than her. I'm better than him. Oh, my family is much more greater than that family. I'm more bigger. I know, I know more than they know. But you have the same features like you. Same breast, same face, same makeup, same hair. So how are you greater than them? Or does it mean God creates great people and creates lesser people? So there are some people who are greater than the others. I see a lot of people said Marines, that is level in the Marine. What does that mean? <laughs> levels. Okay, the same levels you created in the human race, of the rich, the poor, the, the, the middle class, and the poor masses, right? Or you think that is the way it's being created, as in the higher echelon, the, the greatest, the, what is that? What is that? Okay, simply because you have a few million in your account, so other men are nothing. They, 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 they are not in human race, okay? You are in the human race. So the ones that don't have it, they don't have human race. They don't have red blood, okay? They are just, uh, they are just there. So, okay, is that what you are telling me? Those whose palm kernel have been cracked by the ghosts should not look down on those who are cracking their palm kernel by themselves. Money is you. You seen messages have come to you. You ignore it. And somebody said, I don't dream. I said, what was the last dream you had? And they told me, I said, how can you say you don't dream? Look at you. When you talk to your child, the child doesn't want to hear. Your child decided to follow his own. And when you leave them, your mother has been talking. You're not listening. You leave them. Let them behave the way they want to behave. Let them make their own mistake. Eh? Let them live the life they want to live. Nobody will tell them that this is not the way. The more you keep talking and say, Mother, you, one day you get tired of talking. Does it mean you don't love your child? You do love your child, but your child decided not to listen to you. So you let that child to live the life they want to live so that they can bear the consequences of their actions, of their lives by themselves. Everybody has their own spiritual guards. You are not responsible for somebody living the kind of life they want to live. And because they are living the kind of life they want to live, they are reaping the consequences of those lives. And they are cursing, talking against those people who are spiritualists, spiritualists like me. That we are fake. If you are, if you are, if you are, if you are, if you are a genuine as a one, why is Nigeria hard? If these people, their power is real, why, are, why haven't we gotten Biafra? If you are real and genuine, why is Nigeria hard? Why are things hard? These are the kind of questions some crazy motherfuckers ask. They want to eat, eat their, uh, they want to eat their cake and say have it. How can you eat your cake and have it? When you eat your cake, you don't have it. They want things to happen to them because it needs to happen to them. Why? You don't listen to your people. A lot of you have tradition and culture. You don't listen to it. You don't follow the rules. Mm. Laid down by those who were here before you. We are not saying, I'm not saying follow the rules. Respect them. You are here to make your own rules and regulations. You are here to follow your path, not your path of your forefathers. But you got to respect your forefathers because if they didn't come here, you wouldn't be here. And because you don't understand them, you don't honor your your father's loins. You don't respect your mother's kitchen, your mother's name. You go to another man's land, you desecrate it. You see a girl, you desecrate her after all. She's 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 she's, she's wayward. She's she's doing hookup. She's a prostitute. So you desecrate her because she is not marriageable type. 
and yet you claim that you love your mother. No, you don't love your mother. You are simply living the kind of life, doing to her what you wanted to do to your mother, but you can't do it to your mother because it's your mother. So you're doing it to another person. So how is your sister better than another person's sister? I want to know. How is your mother more precious, more beautiful, virtuous woman? How is your mother more beautiful than the other mother? How? Okay. Okay, your brother is the best. So every other young man there is a cash out, ATM machine, right? There are consequences. You don't understand. There are consequences. So long as you're living outside of your root, outside of who you are, outside of the, of the things that you yourself told your spiritual God, if I misbehave, if I decided not to follow this path, if I decided to do this, let this thing happen to me. Sometimes I did video, I said, whatever that happens to you, whatever is happening to you right now, it is as a result of what you said. It is you who made this rule. And some people will say, but how do I unmake this rule in the physical realm? Did you see that people don't ask questions, they are just fumbling and wumbling and hopping. Did you did you see that? Are you are you listening to me? Are you listening? How can you remake or recreate what you created in the spiritual realm? You want to recreate it now with this physical body. Are you okay? How do you do that? Some of you don't know your name in the spiritual realm. So how can you create? <laughs> uh. hmm. Ah. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Ma, how do I change my karma? Oh, okay, so, ma, how do I, how do I make it? Ma, ma, please, ma, as a wife, mommy, please help me. How, how do I change it? How, how do I do this? Are you, are you listening to yourself? Are you making sense? Are you, are you, are you, are you, are you listening to yourself? Are you listening to the sound of your voice? Is it, is it making sense? Is it? How does it sound to your ear? Uh -huh, uh -huh. Are you listening to yourself? That you go to a mortal man. And give them money to buy popo for mineral and granite and chengom to change the mind of who are we okay? Sometimes I'm asking myself, Am I okay? Maybe I'm sick, I need to be committed in a hospital or something. Something must be definitely, definitely, definitely wrong with me. Am I am I losing it? Am I losing it? What is going on? You don't understand your spiritual God. You don't want to listen to the music, they are, the words they are saying. You don't even know your name. All you know is the name your parents, somebody gave to you. You don't know your names there. You don't even know the names of your spiritual God. What is, what, what, what is this? What is this? All I see is, how do I make money? My husband slapped me. My girlfriend abandoned me. How do I make it? People are laughing at me. My family is the poorest. How do... I am the wrong person to ask that kind of questions. There are spiritual gods beside you. Some time ago, I did a video. Please don't forget to uh, uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel at Esther H.E. Marina, okay? Follow me on Facebook at Esther H.E. Marina, on TikTok at Esther H.E. Marina. I've done a lot of videos where I showed you the light, the size of your spiritual gods. And I say that they are so close to us like this. This is how close they are. 
very close. This is how close they are to us. I have done live videos. I have been teaching. And somebody will be asking me, please, but how do I do it? But I have been talking about it. I have been teaching it. Over 30 years now. I have been talking about this. And nobody's hearing me. Because people don't like to hear. But I'll be talking. Because I like to talk. And people like to block their ear. And me, I like to be talking. So I will be talking till I'm no longer here. I will be talking. I won't stop. But if you didn't hear me today, definitely you're going to hear me one day. If you didn't listen today, you will certainly, most certainly, hear me one day. Maybe I won't be alive. My name is Yoko. Some of you are not meant to wear black. Sakam, at all, at all, at all, at all. Your spirit guide doesn't like it because you don't like it. What your spiritual guide doesn't like is what he doesn't like. Because you told them, I don't like this. When you see me on earth doing this, please stop me. Stop me anyhow. I no, 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 no. I don't like this. I don't want to get married. I don't want to get trapped in this contrast, contraception, a big contraption called what? So when you see me trying to get married, please let the man disappoint me and fuck me up. And they did. So why are you telling me? I don't know why men don't like me. Oh, all I suffered. Men don't like me. Please, ma. Is there anything you're going to do for me? To, oh, my God. But it's you that doesn't like it. What your spiritual gods don't like. It's what you don't like. And peradventure, you have you have a mother or a father who speak the way I speak or who behave the way I behave or a, a grandfather, a grandmother. And when they died, because they are pure when they were alive, when they died, they joined your spiritual guides and said, peradventure, if my grandson or my granddaughter, if my son or my daughter sees me in the dream, peradventure, he or she will believe me. And yet, did you believe it? Uh -uh. Uh -uh, you don't believe it. Some of you say, anytime I see my mother in the dream, if I'm going to do business, that business will crash. That business will crash. I know it's not my mother that is doing that. It's one spirit, evil spirit that carries my mother's face. Are you people okay? When I need a tire. Hmm? I need a tire. Oh, God. Hmm. Anytime I'm in a dream, I see snake on my way. If I dream, I see snake. If I wake up, eh, that day I'm bad luck. But anywhere where I go, it's bad luck, bad luck, bad luck, bad luck. Ah, please, oh. And somebody will not tell you, you python spirit die. When somebody will tell you, I want to kawagi from Mundi Otsuki, so that uh, that snake that is bringing bad luck. I don't understand. Sometimes I just feel like I be crying from morning to night. I should just be crying. I should just be crying. I just feel like sometimes I just feel like going naked, running, running around the street and be screaming. Maybe they will tie me rope and commit me one in one psychiatric hospital because sometimes I don't I don't understand anymore. I don't understand. Eh? My gift has thank you so much. God bless you so much. God bless you so, so, so massively. Thank you so much. Sometimes I just feel like, I feel like just, I feel like just howling like, 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 like a wolf. Ugh. I don't know. I don't know. Sometimes I feel like screaming. You, 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 you saw a snake in the dream. And when you wake up the next morning to go, that business is scattered. You saw your mother or your father. You see something in the dream. You are, I only see one man. That man is tall, black. I only see one woman. She's very fair. Anytime I see that woman in the dream, my relationship will scatter. Anytime I see them in the dream like this, 
My business will fail. Have you have you removed this childish emotional jargon behavior and listening to what the thing is actually telling you? Have you have you removed this emotional nonsense? You know, some of you are so emotional. Uh, when I started a live video on TikTok, somebody said, Ah, you are too harsh. Why are you talking to your fans like that? I said, I said to myself, Look at look at motherfucker. What the fuck is she talking about? I know fear. Eh? And you put a things are getting out of hand. Somebody saying I'm harsh. Is the problem holding you not harsh? That people we graduate from university not getting work. Is it not harsh? So I'm harsh. The economic situation of this country is it not harsh? So I'm the one that is harsh, right? Hmm. I don't know any time I see this man. Any time this man make love to me in the dream, me and my husband will quarrel. Are you okay? There is power everywhere. Look around you. There is so much power everywhere. Every morning. The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning, new every morning. Great is the faith, fullness, oh, oh, oh Lord, great is the faithfulness. Every day has something. No, you want somebody to tell you. Please, ma. I see this in the Please, ma, check it for me. I will go and just for a corner. I don't know why why, why men, uh, they, the relationship will be okay. Suddenly it will scatter. Ma, I don't understand. You didn't understand and you jump into another relationship. The same thing has been happening to you over and over again. Yes. Yes, you don't understand. When that one happened, you jump into another relationship barely one month after that one crash. When it happened again, you still find a spiritual. Say, I don't understand what it happened. You jump into another one. You jump into another one. Some of you, over 10 men, have come to your father's house to collect list. Yet yeah, no marriage. I will love a man, finish my heart. I will give all I have. They will abandon me. No, they never they abandon you. They are abandoning you. Now you see them out. They never they abandon you. No. If they abandon you, you no go get my talk. If they abandon you, no go talk. What do you, what did they do? You know, aban, aban, don. You never see don. When you see don, he a gota. I don't go to church in a house, ne. Do one has that woman on onion on our woman now. Then they tap a scene. Then they tap a scene. That is one song I I like so much. You know, music was one of the things that really helped me when I was going through all kind of. All kind of go your boss. Yeah, I went through. <laughs> I went through all the wind travels. <laughs> you know, there are songs you sing in those days. You said, Is it possible? Will this thing happen? Can it happen? <laughs> Can it happen? Music have always been my source of inspiration. And every day I never cease to say thank you to God of music. Nani kwero, oh God e kwamazo. Nani chere kwere ewo, ajula oto gisi me. Nani chi mara magabo ma, oh God e kwamazo. It simply means believe. 
that everything will be okay. Don't ask how. Just believe. But in this case, now I know that we need to ask how. But the only how we are asking is to people who weren't there when you were born, who were not there when you were created. I want you to know that your mother can't even tell you the truth. Does your mother know everything about you? Your mother only knows the child that came out from her vagina. She doesn't know who you are. It is you who knows who you are. Nani kwereo Oga de kwa mozo Nani kwere chere ewo Anjula utungye sime Nani chi Mara moga buma o Oga de kwa mozo The right person to ask question is yourself. When you ask your, yourself that question, your spiritual guards, who are this close to you, will answer you. Because you know, they know, that a time comes as a human being, it, living it, as a spiritual being, living in a human body, that you won't understand some things at some certain times in your life based on family indoctrination, societal indoctrination, and parental upbringing they will just whisper it to you remember you ask us to remind you but today everybody's asking everybody question how do i do this i dream somebody slapped me what does it mean i dream somebody pushed me what does it mean i was shitting i was in the toilet i hear the sound of gun what does it mean cockroach was looking at me when i was sleeping what does it mean There are some song, song that I used to sing. I don't understand it, but now I understand. Because I'm a goddess. When I begin to call myself some name, people get pissed off. Why are you getting pissed off? I called myself a goddess because I'm a goddess. I'm a son. I'm a daughter of a god. My heart is what I got from my physical body. My spirit, my soul came from the spiritual realm. So sometimes my heart can mislead me my heart will be telling me how oh, you don't have a godfather you don't have a godmother how are you going to do this and what that song is saying means my heart become god knows what i want god will do it for me who is that god me you who came with a spiritual guards? Because I am here for a purpose. And this sack of meat, this thing you pamper and cherish so much, I call it sack of meat. This sack of meat and my heart will definitely stand on my way. Try to stop me. Because that is all they know. They want me to enjoy life. They tell me that I can have any man, irrespective of who that man is. My friend's husband, my sister's boyfriend. I can do whatever I want to do. And damn the consequences. That is what my heart's saying to me. And that is what my body is telling me. Oh my God, your skin is so gorgeous. Man will die for you. But my spirit, my soul is telling me, don't forget you are here on a journey. Don't do that. There's something you're here for. You gotta be careful. There's no time. This sack of meat has time limits. Mm -hmm. That you look 20, you are 20 years now. No, it's 20 years, it's, you are old already. Start. There's no time. No, I'm so young. Let me flex my life. Let me enjoy myself and got a good husband. Oh my God. Oh my God. I gotta look sexy. I gotta too sharp, okay? I gotta package myself. There is time, okay? When I get older, I can start doing that.
Chokum edema 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 o chimaro bimwe narekele mbeni ele chukum edema 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 o ayoma nero we ale narekele mbeni ile oli la nyandi so e narekele mbeni ile chika di biamu ewo narekele mbenile and today you want somebody to tell you how to settle your spiritual guard how to worship god you have failed can i take you to your father's house I can't do that because you know your father's house. I don't know your father's house. So I shouldn't take you to your father's house because I don't know your father's house. So how can you sit down and listen to somebody telling you, come, let me make peace between you and your spiritual husband. <laughs> that one night they make me the laugh pass. What a fuck, man. That is so... <laughs> that is crazy, man. That is the most crazy things i've ever heard in my life oh my god that is crazy come let me make peace with you and your spiritual husband. are you kidding me are you serious right now are you okay is something wrong with you what is going on oh my god and somebody said oh you 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 have pythonic spirit i I, I need to deliver you from Python spirit. So now if they deliver you from being a Python, who are you going to be? You are nothing. You are nobody because you are a Python. My name is Yoko. Yo, queen of the coast. Leave her now. Leave her now. Okay. If you are, if you are delivered from being a... <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, God. Oh, my God. So where will you be when they deliver you from what the, What is going to happen to you? Oh God. Hey. Hey. I say, oh, I say, myself flying. Come, let me, let me, let me drag down your chi. Let me drag down your chi. <laughs> oh my god, oh my god. Hey, truly, they said, Mugu fall, maga chop. Now, now, I don't understand that word. I never understand that before. Oh my god, oh god, oh god. Uh, hey. Onye wemburu zome mumma eh oburu zome mumma eh Onye wemburu zome mumma eh 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 oburu zome mumma eh Onye me go onye me be sarambara oburu zome mumma eh wo Onye me go onye marike Oh oburu zome Oh, 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 oh,
so kunye muwe Onyo toro nabu Onyo ziru zole Onyo nero ono e buru so kunye mu Igo bandia unchine kena putara buru so kunye muwe Onyo mere ma e buru so kunye muwe Onyo toro nabu buru so kunye muwe Enugo buru so kunye muwe Buru no so gunye muwo Igo bandia huchine kenyere mwa buru so gunye muwo Onyo nye nini buru so gunye muwo Onyo zare bere buru no so gunye muwo Onyo si chapona anyo mire buru so gunye muwo Onyo tona nabu buru so gunye muwo Onyo buli relu buru so gunye muwo Onyo gwanoni ale, buru no uzo gunye muwo. Onyo toro na mo, buru uzo gunye muwo. Igu vanya huchine keza putara, buru uzo gunye muwo. Oh, buru uzo gunye muwo. Oh, buru uzo gunye muwo. Buru uzo gunye muwo. Start waiting for verification and listening. Your help is not there. Your help is here. Your help is not external. Your help is here. You think your ear. This is your human ear. You need to see the ears of your spiritual guards. It's longer than one of my arm. The ears of your spiritual guards. It's longer.